Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is the Hebrew Jamaican Coolie back again with another video. Now today here's what I'm going to be talking about. So you guys see the pic that I put up earlier in the video. And that is the receipt of what these migrants are receiving. Over suffering black Americans whether it be single black American mothers single black American fathers or black families in general that are struggling struggling to make ends meet and you have immigrants getting four grand or even more a month in 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 in, in stamps cash why would I love forget that right? You know, I'll be straight up with you. Yo, that is wicked. Again, once again, black Americans, they are showing you indirectly or directly. This is directly showing you where they stand, you know. They're sure they don't have to tell you point blank where they stand. They don't have to say, I don't stand with black Americans. I don't want to help them. They can show you where they stand by helping others to gain a footing above you. I've said it before in my videos where I said, black Americans will not receive reparations and these are the reasons why. I've said it before in another video that when they brought these immigrants in these are your new oppressors and I said black Americans welcome to your new oppressors welcome to the people that they are going to try and elevate above you so that they can keep you distracted with fighting them so that you won't be able to fight for yourselves I've said it before I've said it before <sighs> right I said it before some of them come in them go New York them disrespect black Americans them attack the police them do all sorts of stuff right but again black Americans are the problems right black Americans are the problem right the biggest problem in America is not the immigrants that they let in it's not the things that they've done it's black Americans, right? It, 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 it's, it's obviously black Americans, right? Wow. So, as I've said before, and I've explained before in a video, I'm going to explain it again. Black Americans, the reason why you're not going to be receiving reparations is because the good that they know that you'll be able to do with it and that when you get your reparations, you're going to F off and go by yourself and by your communities. You're going to build your own establishments. You're going to build your own banks. You're going to build your own supermarkets. You're going to build your own farms. You're going to build your own village once more. And you're going to F off and leave everybody else alone and thrive by yourself. Just like how China, the Chinese have Chinatown. Where them F off by themselves and keep the money in there. And anybody who enters into Chinatown can purchase and can spend money in there. If black Americans should ever have, you know, a town, a village, a villa, something for themselves, a, even an island for themselves, where they can live in peace and basically spend money amongst each other and use that money to build up and then people will come in to get black products, right? They will come in to get black products because we know there are a lot of other ethnicities that love black american products right they love black american products right so if these people come and even spend in the black community they're basically helping to build the black american community as well right this is this is what they don't want this is exactly what they don't want because guess what with that amount 
amount of money that the um immigrants are receiving i'm hearing that some of them are practically receiving 20 grand a month 20 grand a month cash up they're receiving this amount of money you do you know what a lot of black americans can do with that if they were to re I, i'm telling you again black americans i'm telling you again the reason why you will not get it is because of the fear that you will surpass those who have oppressed you and continue to systematically oppress you there is that great fear why did you think they destroyed that village hmm? the Tulsa Oklahoma why do you think they did that you think they did that because of hatred alone it was because of fear a thriving black community right will uplift its people and show others show other black communities how to economically build itself why would they want that why would they want black americans or black people in general living on the same ground and wavelength as them which is not by their system but by a system you create even if you're contributing paying taxes doing this doing that right you're paying back so that they don't complain about how you create a village and you're not paying nothing to the u.s government even if you did that and you were still thriving they would have a problem with it because they don't want you to thrive and i said and i said it before and i'll say it again one of the main reasons why black americans will not be receiving reparations is because it will be it will cause a chain effect around the world globally because once black americans receive it jamaicans we are going to want our reparations for our ancestors and for our families back home that are suffering or that has suffered and and because it is all right i don't want to say anything else right so black americans leading the charge will cause a chain effect where other people will say well if they can do it so can we if they can get theirs we should get ours right and i can guarantee you a lot more just like how marcus Gar garvey came to america right just like how many jamaicans came and helped with the civil rights the civil rights movement right i can guarantee you a lot of black americans will come to jamaica and assist us assist us monetarily you see you people not thinking straight you're not thinking you're not thinking with an open box you're not thinking outside of the box if black americans get reparations why would you think that they wouldn't want to help their 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 their, their brothers and sisters globally to achieve the same wealth and equality finally that they have achieved or even not even equality right but the quality of life that they have started to receive why would you think that black americans would be selfish with it why you know why because you were taught that that that's how they are when they are not oh you know everybody else unite you know but black americans and black jamaicans all we do is pull each other down and that is a damn lie it might be like that for some of us but it's not like that for a lot of us i remember going growing up i could have go over neighbors i didn't know house and get and, and get dinner not that my parents weren't feeding me but there were many times that i go over my neighbor's house and eat dinner and come home and eat dinner again and that's just how, how kids are many times in jamaica right many times in jamaica you have you have friends that basically chomp up money and buy your lunch whether you're an adult or a child many times in jamaica black people band together and help people and, and feed each other i don't know if that's the thing still and i'm praying and i'm hoping that it's still the thing in jamaica where we're still united in that sense that children should not starve that friends of ours should not starve 
enough time when we didn't move out of my parents' house and made it hungry because my pay rent, can rent up a pay. You understand? And I had no food for groceries. And I had a best friend, the man drive and come up and pick me up and take me go. Let's use some supermarket and say, yo, pick up what you need right you now, my youth. I give you a budget. I give you this amount and them things. Pick up what you need, my youth, and me pay for it. You understand? It's a lie. It's a darn lie that they're telling that black people only know how to pull each other down. And the reason why they do that is because they want to place the negativity within your mind. Not to unite with your people because they know that once you unite with your people that something bad for them is going to happen. Look how many black people are now uniting and marching up and down now. Right? The Sonia Massey situation. Uniting black people. Last time they used George Floyd for a vote, but this time people say, we're not doing this for no freaking voting. We're doing this because we're sick and tired. We're sick and tired of these people doing this and covering up and pretending that they're innocent and that they are justified. I had to sit down on TikTok or was it? Yeah, it was on TikTok. I had to sit down on TikTok and listen to a live, right? And I'm just listening and I had my wife listening to the live of a R-A-C-I-S-T person trying his best, trying his best, using his word smithing skills to justify what that, what, what Sean Grayson has done to Sonia Massey. You have people still literally out there doing their best to justify what that man has done to that woman. And that tells me that that person is an inhumane person. They're not people. They're not people. And given the same opportunity, they will find any just reason or cause to take you out as well. They want to sound like they're, they're on the side of justice. They're not. They're on the side of their type of justice. They don't give a, they don't give a damn about truth and what a fact is. They don't give a damn about any of that. They will do what they do and justify it and find themselves not guilty. You understand, people? So listen to me and listen to me good. The main reason why black Americans will not be getting it anytime soon. No time soon. And like, like I said before, the most high is going to be the one that causes reparations to happen. And I said it before. I said I made videos on this. That even if they give you reparations, it won't be the correct reparations. Because as the dollar continues to slide, right? As it continues to slide, do you want a dollar where it's going to be like $150 for a loaf of bread? Is that the type of dollar that you want? Is, the is that the type of reparations you want? When you get that dollar figure, it's going to mean nothing, right? I'm not saying to give up on it. I'm not saying because it's still very very strong the dollar is still very very strong so I'm not saying that Americans black Americans should give up on reparations no don't give up on reparations continue the fight continue to hold them accountable for what they have done because when they go before them because this is a witness to them this will be a witness to them it will be a witness and a testimony to their decisions, to what they have done, right? And what they have not rectified or tried to rectify on the day of judgment. Um, a second thing before I even continue onward. 
we made a video about the letter to the editor by Sean Grayson's grandmother. We made a Bible study on that. However, there was no volume on it. We don't we didn't we didn't realize that the volume was mute. And so we're gonna do it over tomorrow on the Shabbat. You understand, people? We're gonna do it over tomorrow on the Shabbat because I think it's a very important video. Like I said before, these videos that we're making right now, these Bible studies that my wife and I are doing, we're doing this because we want to continue to awaken our people globally. We want to continue to awaken our people globally. Jamaicans, Americans, whomever, those who are in the diaspora from the transatlantic slave trade. <laughs> You understand those those are who who came out of the transatlantic slave trade we want to awaken our people those who were spread across the land brought into captivity we want to awaken our people so we're going to redo that video and it's going to be called letter to the editor all right sean grayson's grandmother's letter anyway back to the topic so black americans you are seen for yourself you're seen for yourself what both sides think about you both sides don't give a damn about you the only thing they care about is your votes this is why i realized like that a lot of black americans too have opted out from voting they've opted out from voting you understand neither let I, i've heard even i've spoken to a lot of white americans too who have opted up from voting they don't like neither candidates they don't like either candidates kamala neither donald they don't want neither of them they don't want them they're not voting right this is about seven people that i've spoken to they don't want it white or black don't want neither of them so a lot of so to me in my honest opinion there will be a lot of people who won't be voting this time around right so as much as we'd like to say you know it's not a political thing the thing about it is this the left basically they were the ones who gave these things gave these supplementary income gave these what's the word treats to to um the migrants so when these guys when these migrants start to be able to afford more than the average black american when they're able to buy homes live in certain neighborhoods and they start to see black american children walk through those neighborhoods well they're going to treat them the same way that a lot of white people treat these black american children because they feel that they are in close proximity to white people and so you know white people see them as an ally white white people see them as friends that's their mindset that's their mindset and so when they see that now they're going to hate seeing black children in the neighborhood they're gonna hate seeing black people move into the neighborhood they're gonna harass your children they're gonna call police on your children they're gonna call police on adult men they're gonna call police on adult women what are you doing it's in this neighborhood they're gonna do the same thing that a lot of black americans have faced with a lot of white people you understand they're going to be the new versions of Karen. They're going to be the new version of a Karen. You understand? So let me tell you something. These people, this migrant thing, like I said before, again, black Americans say welcome to your new oppressors because that's exactly what they're going to be and that's what they're going to choose to be. They're gonna talk about how why black americans can't can't make it i came here with nothing 
I came here with nothing and my parents worked night and day and then we bought this big house and we have this stylish car and we have a big bank account and why America why black Americans can't make life oh you have all these opportunities and all you're doing is complaining and blah 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 all the while they were receiving all these governmental benefits when they came here they received housing benefits supplementary income benefits food stamps benefits right what if they're getting um utilities for free many of us are struggling to pay utilities i just spoke about this yesterday i just spoke about this yesterday and there's something that i like to talk about and i think black america needs to also know this too as well you see if the utility company gives the the um the, their resources out freely to some people the people who are paying are going to have to pay more because they have to get they have to get it from somewhere and this happens in Jamaica when people are always stealing electricity and stealing water we always get we always get charged more because there is a surplus of electricity that the electric company cannot account for but they need to get the money for and they take it from us middle hard working class people and that's why I spoke about yesterday about on the day of judgment because all these people that do these things to its people that's why I say it's not just these politicians alone it's a lot of people I mean look at some of these car dealers when they basically rob you blind with a lot of foolish with a lot of contracts hiding behind you know evil contracts and they know it's wrong and they still do it they still do it many of these car dealers they still do it and I mean I want to talk about so many of these people you understand there are many people who in life they pretend to want to be helping you but they what they want to do is actually take advantage of you because you're in a situation in which you are desperate and when you're in such a situation in which you are desperate you are left open and vulnerable to people who are willing waiting and ready to take advantage of you all right but that is my rant for today black americans i hope you know i hope you guys see what i was talking about in terms of why they don't want to give you reparations i hope you understand what is actually happening in terms of why they are pulling so many immigrants into the country they're their new voters and they are your new oppressors they're the new class of people that they're going to put above you instead of giving you what you deserve instead of giving you what they owe you what they have done is put another barrier between you and them and even though a lot of black Americans are basically moving up on the social ladder it's not enough black americans to be able to change the tide of what's going on i've gone to a lot of wealthy neighborhoods and i'm seeing a lot more of our people living there and i'm very proud i'm very happy for them but i always look on it and i always say it's not enough of our people that live in these neighborhoods it should be a lot more of us living in these neighborhoods because a lot of us work extremely hard and we deserve it if this is what we would like to live if this is where we would like to live if this is how we would like to live and we're working hard then we deserve it you understand but anyway this is the hebrew jamaican coolie enough love and respect peace I am out.